Okay, same sort of idea as previously. Throttle up, SAS is on. And Valentina is ready to go. So, go! You're gonna have to forgive me for not talking too much at this part, because this is the part where I always slip out. So, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. I think I should roll a little bit for the boosters to separate properly. So far it's handling a lot better than previously. I mean, last time I played I've been... I was flopping around all over the place. I think maybe I've got the feel of it this time? Oh, but I'm going too far too fast. Oh crud. Don't, don't, don't go away from me now. I need to rotate. That's why I'm slowing down. I'm trying to rotate and go down in pitch because we're at too high a pitch right now. Way too high a pitch. And it's a big waste of fuel to be burning at this pitch right now. But I don't want to deviate too much from... Okay, thank you, Orbit Vector. Okay, it should be fine now. There's no flippiness at this point. The blast vents on the pad are nice feature, yes. I think everybody's quite excited about that. The smoke effects are sort of cute too. Okay, that's the end of that stage. I don't think we got as much mileage out of it as we did last time. What is the other chat you are talking to? Other chat? I'm not too sure what you mean. I am not in any other channel on Twitch. So, well, I guess you could say that... Okay, you know, talking to you has caused me a little bit of a problem here. Uh, <laughs> um, hold on a sec. Okay, you know what? I think we can burn for the moon right now. But uh, the problem is we we are tight on fuel here. And also, I don't think I've hit the moon properly. Okay, well, at least we've reserved enough fuel to bring her back. But I don't know if we've reserved enough to get her into orbit around the moon and bring her back. Alright, so here we go. Let's find out. I should burn further out. Yeah, but how much further out? Oh, okay, not like that. Let's try that. Okay, delay yourself, delay yourself. Ah, oh, that's no, too quick. Okay. That's not good. Okay. This was about the same sort of angle that we had last time. And this was too fast. Ah, this, this, well, we'll try it. I could calculate this out, but uh, that would take me a while still. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Come on, you silly spacecraft. Get around. Okay. Alright. Now, now radio burn. <laughs> now radio burn so that we don't crash into the place. Uh, which direction is it, though? I never figured that out. Uh, okay, this is the way. Okay, now, do we have enough for orbit? Let me calculate. Calculator out now. Okay, so, we've got 50 units of liquid fuel. That's 0.55 tons. 
2.38 tons worth of craft. That's 0.55. Come on. 5.5. Five. Okay, LN of that. Times 9.81 times. What's our ISP on this sucker? Uh, 345. We've got 889. I think that's enough. So, let us get into orbit around the moon. What equation I, am I using? I am using the rocket equation. <laughs> uh, look it up. It's just called rocket equation. Uh, Solkovsky's rocket equation, but if you just use uh, Wikipedia and say rocket equation, you'll get it. Uh, it is how you calculate delta V. And what you do is you take the total mass of the craft, divide it by the mass of the craft without the fuel, so you subtract the fuel out, okay, and then you get that number, that uh, ratio, you do the natural logarithm, which is just LN on your calculator, and then you multiply it by 9.81 and then the ISP. But I've got videos on that. If you just type in rocket equation or delta V in my YouTube channel, I think you'll find a video explaining the whole thing. Well, we don't have to make a tight orbit. We're done already. We've got our contract fulfilled. And that's, that's that for the contract, but let's do some science. Battery, okay. Log temperature. In the space near the moon, 14 science. Keep that data. And crew report. Uh, we've done that already. Okay. And we can't do an EVA yet. Okay, well, I guess that's that for the science there. Okay, about 1 o'clock should be good for escape here. I'm sure we have escape already, but... Let's go... Oh, God. Come on. Give me a hyperbola here. Seriously. I think I've got the hyperbola already. Alright. Took engineering mathematics by mistake in college. Needed math credit. Did advanced math. Funny thing was, you were an English major. <laughs> Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I, I should have taken more physics and such, but I was a history major, so now I'm sort of lacking. Well, I've, I've tried my best to catch up on all that. There we go. All right, well, I'll wait till Apoapsis to bring it in, obviously. No point uh, doing it here. It's very inefficient. Yeah, I had some I had some classes though where I told them my major and they were very very surprised. Heck, I had some classes where they were surprised to see me in the first place. Okay, I'm just going to go for 30. Well, let's go 29. Somewhere in between where uh where we had the battery blowing up and and where I thought it was safe. All right, so Val returning home after orbiting the moon. Took 19 days. Life support really ought to have been a thing, I guess. If they were if they're going to do aerodynamics and deadly reentry, figure life support. Again, something that could be turned off, of course. But still a thing. Just so, just so people don't leave the Kerbals out forever. There ought to have been some sort of... Well, I think there might be a reputation mechanism for that. But, oh, wait. Ooh, that's a bad lighting effect. Huh. Okay, just keeping it retrograde here. Valentina's loving it, of course. She's a can-do kind of person. But this thing... It's a little bit twitchy. Uh, it's it's very twitchy. It's twitchier than it has been on previous re-entries. Trying to leave it alone here. At least we're going up. Holy mackerel. I can definitely understand how people might think that that was the engine blowing up. Uh, 
uh, I think it was just the battery again. Oh, hey, we're we're passing right over to KSC. It's right there. Uh, we're we're probably just in orbit. We're not coming down or anything. Well, that's that's sort of nifty. I didn't expect to see that. All right. So uh, we are in a high pass right now. KSC is entering the dark side of the planet. Let me let me retro burn here. I think we should just keep our periapsis and just come down where it is. The units of measurement don't matter if they're the same in dry mass and wet mass. Yes, it's just a straight ratio, no units. As long as the units are consistent. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's let me just think about it carefully before I Okay, so yes. Because we've got uh, meters per second squared as the acceleration, that's nine, the 9.18. So that's just meters, that's just time and distance. And then we've got... Oh, that's too low. Okay, let me boost up at apoapsis for the last bit of my thing. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, what's my gods? And then the the other factor is just the ISP, which is in seconds. So it's just distance and time otherwise. So yes, it is. As long as you're consistent, it's fine. Hey, uh, it's it's any time I'm distracted, it's my fault for being distracted. That's. I, I might joke about it occasionally, but uh, ultimately it's my thing. Let's go. Let's go twenty-five on this. But then we've got Highlands here. Okay, Val, you're gonna have to be a little bit lucky this time. Let's change the camera view. I like free camera for this anyway. Okay, off with the service module. I've got the battery on the crew hatch. That's just silly. Why did I have the battery on the crew hatch? I thought I had it on the side, but it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well. Valentina, still excited as ever. Well, we're passing these, but uh, we gotta face those or float across them. Okay, we're deviating a lot from. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Uh, come on, quickly, 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 quickly! Back to back to retrograde. Stupid physical time warp. All right. Okay, miss the mountains, miss the mountains. <laughs> oh man. Uh, tif tilting up won't work very well with this, I don't think. Okay. Should be okay for parachute now. Ooh, I hate that shutter though. Not sure if you're aware or even unlocked it yet, but there's a bit of a bug with the heat shield in this release. I've got the heat shield on here. Makes the capsule more likely to flip over. Yes, I've experienced that. I've heard about it, but I wish I had heard about it before I experienced it. Uh, okay, that, I think that was our service module. Um, yeah, uh, so... I actually had the problem because I added the heat shield to uh, Science Junior at the bottom of this. And so Science Junior here, heat shield down, and it flipped over just like you said, Little Atomic. And unfortunately, I lost Jeb. 
that's how I lost Jeb. I've lost Jeb in this series. And that is because of that bug. So Roverdude has already corrected the error, but Squad needs to release a hotfix. It's too late for Jeb. <laughs> it's it's too late for Jeb. What can I say? Uh, I've got I, I don't have uh, the I've got moderated links. Um, don't worry, I'll find it on my own, Raven. Um, I actually don't know how to allow you to post a link. <laughs> uh, I, I probably should have learned how to do that before putting moderated links there. 21 days. Well, it was worth it. I'm sure uh, Valentina would agree. It was worth the time. Okay, so 24 science. 63% of the value of her pod back and Valentina got her experience okay okay so we can do high over Kerbin for the materials study and the goo we've already done high over Kerbin but we can do a materials study high over Kerbin and that'll get us something how am I liking the new aerodynamics system thus far? well it's challenging uh, it, it's, a, it's a bigger challenge um, in certain areas I'll say of course we need less Delta V but they've they've nerfed all the ISPs so so that's all right that balances out right so I'm gonna do science data from space around Kerbin do that form temperature scans of Kerbin that's specific you've got two science data from the moon this is pretty pretty lucrative here I'm gonna pick that one up now Okay, so I'm going to do a, oh, let me time warp to daylight, and then I'm going to do a quick science junior to high over Kerbin, and then, you know what, if we're going to do science junior high over Kerbin, I want to do it with, uh, with the probodobodyne, because last time we did it, I lost Jeb, uh, so I don't want to do it with the capsule. All right, I'm gonna research this and research that. I'm gonna research canards as well. Okay, let's put radio mount parachutes here. Try and shield them from the heat. That doesn't look quite right. Does that look shielded? That also looks like it's a horror of aerodynamics, so... That puts the center mass pretty high. Okay, 0.8 tons. That's, that's comparable to the pod, but we've got one extra part. Shall we just trust that I can bring this back and not transmit the data? I think that's a risky thing to trust. Are the nose cones worth it for the reduced drag? Well, not if we're going to use them right off the bat, I don't think. Uh, I'd have to unlock that. I mean, the cost the cost of the nose cones themselves. I guess I'll unlock it now just for to see, but that's uh that'll be 480 extra funds. And we're not going to have that much drag. Uh, you have to balance it against the uh, extra fuel we have to carry, right? So I don't think we're, we need to carry that much more fuel in order to combat the drag. It depends if you've got like a borderline, borderline craft or anything. So just trying to loft the science junior to a high carbon orbit. Alright, here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on. No, go, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, you. Okay, I'm not going to be reading comments for about a few minutes here.
Just for you now. Oh, no, no, no. Ugh. I'm hearing some weird sounds. What is that sound? Come on, you. Come on. We're just going up. You don't need to mess around here. It's very simple. Uh, a little bit low. But we should be all right. But without SAS, oh, okay, so much for that idea. <laughs> Say Putnik Mark 1 exploded due to overheating. Okay. Okay. Well, we have learned something. We have learned something. So yeah, that's gonna have to go into a fairing. <laughs> But the problem is, if we try and put a capsule on here, it'll flip around. So, what we need to do is uh, go slower. Yeah, okay. Um, steeper, steeper ascent. That's my plan. Let me try it again. And this is a bad idea, of course, trying it again. But... Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to try it. I'm going to try a steeper ascent this time. Here we go, and trying not to flip around. So again, I am not watching comments here. No! This thing. We've got too much ablator. We've got the full 200. I should have dumped some of that. Now I'm gonna go slow deliberately because I don't want to heat up so much. Of course this would be a very bad trajectory if I wanted a tight orbit around Kerbin, but we're not going for a tight orbit around Kerbin. We're going for a very high orbit around Kerbin. Okay, let's see where we're at. Not high enough. Okay, let's continue. Okay, I'm just gonna coast to Apoapsis and then I'm going to boost to as high an orbit as I can. No, not as high an orbit as I can. As high an orbit as I can while still being able to bring this back down, of course. Okay, let's see where we're at there. I think that should be high. That should be high. Okay. Okay, just just flop around as you will. All right. Okay, in the high radiation environment caused a few of the samples to glow. It looks like it'd be fun to paint rockets with this. Keep that data. Sounds good to me. Okay. I think we should we should be conservative about our return here. Let's do the same sort of error breaking that we did from the moon. Yes, I know about disabling the flow of electric charge. I don't do it though. I do consider it sort of a trick. But maybe we need no. Uh, no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's let's do let's do thirty here. All right. You know, with the lack of control though, this is gonna be tough. Maybe I want to come down this time. Okay. So we'll ditch the service module this time once we hit the atmosphere. 
control is not great, and so we're gonna have trouble keeping this held retrograde. Okay, well, there goes our fuel. Okay, uh huh, how am I gonna stabilize this? Spin stable. Oh man, there's no way I'm gonna be able to control this very well. Use. Oh. Stay put and it exploded due to overheating. What? It couldn't possibly. We weren't anywhere near the. I mean, you know, we were 58 kilometers. 58 kilometers? And explode. Well, you know what? I do know that the the overheating does stick around with you in orbit. In other words, it has to just dissipate very slowly. So maybe it was compounding, and the tiny bit of heating that we received when just starting reentry was the straw that broke the camel's back. But oh dear, oh dear. Okay, um, space center. Let's do some strategic planning here. I haven't been doing that. I really need a better probe core. I need a probe core with SAS. Where do we get that? There. Probodobodyne Octo. SAS. 90 science. Got a long way to go. I really don't need this stuff. I mean planes would be nice but it's not what I'd say necessary what we really need to do is unlock the the VAB so that I can get to more than 30 parts but that's at 450,000 funds this is probably the most important science we'll get solar panels as well the rest uh, is not quite as vital solar panels and the probe core are probably the biggest things oh and well these engines I just naturally love but it's funny that the ant now has a better vacuum ISP than the 48.7s you know what guys uh, let me think about what I'm going to be doing here for for next time I don't think I have a clear idea where I want to go from here and I don't want to get into the same situation that I did in yesterday's stream where I ended up with very very low funds so, we're getting close to 5.30 my time, and I'll say that this is where I'm going to call it. And, yep, I don't know when I'll be uh, streaming next. It'll, it'll be sometime this week, obviously. Definitely the weekend. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stream Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, so uh, I'll, try and, uh, put a, I'll try and put a note in the video description at the top of the screen there uh, if I figure out what time I'm going to be streaming next. Okay. So uh, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream and the video edited will be going up on YouTube. And that's it. So uh, see you next time, guys.